Now, he's won awards and transformed lives, but nearly 30 years after setting up a school for children with dyslexia, Dr Neville Brown is still regarded as a maverick. Yes, last year, Dr Brown was voted ITV's Teacher of the Year in the Midlands for his achievements, you may remember that. And Ofsted rates his school, Ma Maple Hayes, as highly effective. And in 2008, more than half its GCSE students got five good grades. But the government is still to be convinced of the school's unique teaching methods. Our education correspondent Peter Bean has this special report. Miss Adas pulled the raggy cloak and covered the man's face. Beggar, he said, won't be missed and no one to mourn him. For Tom, the words on the page no longer hold any fears. He can hold his own in class and the days of being bullied are behind him. He's one of hundreds of dyslexic children whose lives have been changed by Maple Hayes. Done one of my GCSEs. How are you getting on to us? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm predicting like C's and everything. He could spell within a week. He'd suddenly picked up the whole idea and it made sense to him. It's given me a boost in the right direction to being able to spell. The price of failing dyslexic children can be high. Many leave school disaffected and with low self-esteem. It's estimated four out of ten prisoners have dyslexia. Those are the children that I, I am very concerned about and that I fight for. Let's have a look at this word. Dr Neville Brown is the founder of Maple Hayes School in Staffordshire. He came up with a revolutionary way of teaching pupils to read and write. It uses pictures or icons to represent parts of words. For example, a clock going backwards represents the word ending ED used to show the past tense. This curly squiggle conveying the idea of movement represents ING. It's unique to Maple Hayes. You won't find teaching like this anywhere else in Britain. Now, since the 1970s, children have been taught to read and write using phonics, which means the sounds in a word. So say for the word cat, k a t makes cat. But of course, for dyslexic, that has severe limitations, especially when you get to a word like worked, where it doesn't spell the way it sounds. Now, there's a problem there because it sounds like it's a T on the end. But in reality, what we're trying to do is say that in the past, somebody did some work. So our trick is just give a little visual reference. We want something that means back in the past. It won't be a T. It'll be two letters, ED. It becomes worked. And worked it has for Fiona Lockhart. She used to feel stupid at school. Now she's off to college after taking nine GCSEs. So if you suddenly sort of get everything and you can actually read and like you have the confidence to read in class and you can write and everything and like on the straight line, there's no random letters floating anywhere. Hello there. Dr Brown, I'm sorry to interrupt your lesson, but I'm very pleased to tell you that you have been voted as the Midlands Pride of Britain Teacher of the Year. Congratulations. Take your trophy. Last year, Dr Neville Brown won public acclaim for his achievements. Oh, I, I, overwhelmed, actually. Yes. But despite such accolades, the educational establishment refuses to embrace Dr Brown's methods. The government has just announced £10 million to improve the teaching of children with dyslexia. 4,000 teachers will get extra training. But the way children learn won't change. It's still phonics, phonics, phonics. So if you're clearly doing so well and it seems to work for your pupils, why do you think it is the government just dismisses you out of hand? Because what this requires is not more money thrown at it and more teachers. What we've got to say is, what should the teachers be teaching? It lies with teaching methods, not with the teachers, though. Give them the right tools, they will do it. The Children's Secretary, Ed Balls, refused to talk to us about Maple Hayes methods, nor would any other government minister. It leaves the school ploughing a lonely furrow, wondering why the outside world can't see the bigger picture. Peter Bean in Litchfield for Central Tonight.
Well, certainly it looks very effective. And if you are affected by dyslexia and need some advice, then you can call the British Dyslexia National Helpline. Their number is 0845 251 9002. Or you can visit the website, which is on the screen at the moment. It is uh, BDA Dyslexia, that's all one word, .org.uk.